welcome back. My name is Day and today I have another video for you. So today I'm going to talk about what my plans are for the rest of the year. The year is almost over and I am in the mood to revamp, reset my fitness goals and my nutrition goals and actually show you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to start with my nutrition goals. First, my first goal is to eat more raw foods. Now, since my last video uh, where I show you what I ate for the entire day, I've actually added more raw foods. And I cannot tell you how big of a difference it's made. I feel, I feel so good. My nutrition goal number two is to eat more intuitively. Now, I, I'm not a big fan of eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner at a certain time because every day is different and every day I need a, a different amount of food um, at a different time so my goal is to listen to my body a lot more um, I really enjoy eating way early before my bedtime that way I don't go to sleep with a heavy stomach um, it's really uncomfortable now with intuitive eating I still want to make sure that I'm having enough food so that's something I'm going to look, um, I'm going to pay close attention to. I mean, I can eat something and I can kind of get, you know, get a, a, an idea of how much um, calories I'm taking and if it's enough carbohydrates to really fuel my busy um, life. So I, I've, I already have an idea on, on how much food I should be eating. So just paying attention that I don't overeat or undereat. I want to um, I want to feed myself to a, a neutral, very satisfying uh, way where after a meal I feel energized, I feel satisfied. I don't think about food, and I can keep going, um, you know, in life and and keep doing things that I like to do. Nutrition goal number three is a big one. I want to start meal prepping or end meal planning because I have a really busy life and. Sometimes it takes so much energy and time to think about what I'm gonna eat, what I'm gonna make. It's just a hassle. I do have experience doing that in the past, so uh, it's just getting in the in the in the rhythm of it, getting momentum going. So that's I feel like that's gonna help me a lot. And final nutrition goal is to add more variety of foods, um, and I'm talking about obviously fruits and vegetables and seeds and sprouts and uh, just I, w I want to eat a variety of foods I feel like I do a good job now but I just um, and I feel like that goes um, hand in hand with uh, trying more raw foods I want to experiment and I want to make delicious food I want uh, that's just the lifestyle that I want to create for myself so um, I will also do my best to record it and show you guys and maybe inspire you. Who knows? Who knows? <sighs> now for my fitness goals. <sighs> I have so many goals. I'm trying to not make that many goals just so I won't overwhelm myself. But hey, listen, I want it all and I feel like I can do it and as long as I'm not uh, I'm not doing things like if I'm not pressuring myself in a negative way I feel like I can do it so my number one fitness goal is to become a better athlete and that includes a variety of things I want to be faster stronger I want to, um, my endurance to increase I want um, to to learn better techniques in running and boxing and cycling. Um, I, I'm in this lifestyle for the long run. I want to do this for the rest of my life. So I want to make sure that the things that I do, I do intentionally and I do it with um, knowledge. I want to learn how to do things the right way. So I, I don't have to deal with injuries or or burnout i'm trying to get to a steady level where i know my body and i know when it's time to push and i know when it's time to calm down and relax and focus on you know the simple things and it's 
it's it's like that in in fitness and health it's all it's, it's a never-ending learning process and i'm here for it so i want to become a better athlete i want to recover um properly that means stretching every day rolling doing all the things that you need to to have your body ready for the next uh, session for the next ride for the next run um, I want to learn um, proper footwork and in, in everything. I want to make sure that my joints and my ligaments and every, all the little things inside my body are well taken care of. So that's my biggest fitness goal for right now. Goal number two in my fitness is definitely plan ahead, be prepared, um, have an idea on uh, what's going to happen throughout the week that way i'm prepared kind of get an idea of what i want to accomplish for the week prepare um every night before going to bed all the things that i need to um to for the next day for example like i go i do muay thai in the mornings three days a week at six in the morning. That means that I have to prepare everything the night before. My meals for the day, the clothes that I'm gonna wear um, after class, um, my workout clothes, uh, my water, uh, charge my lights on my bike. I mean, everything has to be ready the day before so I don't even have to think about it the morning of or I don't have to make excuses like I, I'm unprepared so I can't go to Muay Thai because I'm, I'm, I don't have anything ready. So I wanna be prepared um, and I wanna plan ahead to um, get my mind ready and my, and, and my schedule ready and my life ready to, to do the things that I actually want to do. So yeah, those are my goals for the rest of the year. Um, definitely, I'm definitely gonna document as much as I can, uh, but I just don't wanna talk about it. I wanna be about it. So today I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna start my day with a big juice. So I'm gonna bring you along and show you what I'm gonna have. So this is what we have to juice today. We've got dandelion, which is really, really good for your blood, blood formation, cleaning your blood. It's really good very it's it's tart it's sour but if you juice it it's really good we have celery you already know celery is the business we have lemon lots of lemon here apples for sweetness because this is very um bitter sour all that cucumber delicious and i love ginger i love a lot of ginger so it's gonna be a very potent juice oh and we have um, a little bit of uh, habanero chile. Uh, now this is really spicy, but um, I'm gonna do it. This is good for our circulation. Okay, I wanna take a second to appreciate this juicer. I've made a first impression video on the juicer. I got it for my birthday last year and I want to give an update. This is the best juicer I've ever had. I mean, I've had a lot of different juicers, but this is the best one. This is the Nama cold press juicer. Look at the pulp. It is dry. Now this is fabulous. This is what you, what you want to see when you juice something. My other juicers, um, I had a problem with really wet pulp and it was just, it was a mess, but this is amazing. I'm gonna give you a shot. Look at that. That's beautiful. I've used it quite a bit and um, I still recommend it. So if you wanna buy it, do it. I'm not sponsored by it, by the way. It's just, um, I really love it. So um, let's continue.
Okay, we're gonna do a test taste. Let's see. Cheers. Oh, it definitely smells like pepper. Mmm. Okay, we're back for second meal of the day. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a smoothie. We have ripe bananas. Make sure that they're always spotty. Um, I think this can go for a few more days, but I wanna eat them now. Uh, that's when the sugar is fully developed and um, when it's ripe, you don't wanna have unripe bananas. These are two, three dates. I only have a few dates left, so I want to um, spread them out. We've got organic raspberries, organic mango, and spirulina right here. So now I'm gonna make the smoothie.